Hey guys, it's going to be a short video. So today I'm going to talk about Grafana. So before I tell you, explain you about this topology, right? What we are going to do, check today. Let me explain you what Grafana is. So a Grafana is kind of a magic tool that helps you to see and understand the data in a cool and a visual way. And it is used by most of the tech people to keep an eye on their applications or servers or website, right? Make sure like everything is working functional. So imagine um, like you have a lot of numbers, a lot of data coming from different, different uh, servers. Now you want to visualize those data in um, a tool like Grafana or any other tool, right? So you can uh, read those data in Grafana and create a visualization uh, picture so that you understand what exactly is going on with uh, that particular server or that particular application right so grafana it does more further things right it can also send you warning if something goes wrong um, you can basically you know set up uh, your messages like um, your website is slow or maybe your server is having some issues right all those kind of a message you can uh, you know send as an email alert so this can basically, you know, uh, fix your issue well before the user's report. So imagine if the server is going uh, on a high utilization, right? At that particular point of time, your users might not uh, experience that. But as a tool, uh, when you're running this Grafana, if it sees like server is going high, it can, uh, let's say you set up a custom, uh, you know, uh, threshold. Like if the server goes beyond this, send an email alert so that your admin team can you know look into the issue and fix well before that. So uh, Grafana can also, you know, uh, save a lot of your time by automating things like uh, and saving time and effort. So in a nutshell, right, Grafana is a tool that uh, turns your boring data in a colorful and easy to understand pictures, helps you to catch problems early or I would say sooner than later. Right. So now in our scenario, right, how exactly we are going to use Grafana in our environment is so I'm going to basically, um, uh, you know, use call manager to read like how many uh, phones uh, are and what are the type of phones we do have on uh, every minute basis. So in our scenario, we are going to read it every minute basis, but in the real time, it should be on daily basis so that you know on, on what day, how many phones were configured and what are the numbers of each type of devices which will show you uh, see in a minute or two right so the next scenario i'm going to catch the counters like how many uh, concurrent how many calls are there active this moment or how many total calls were there third thing what we are also going to check is uh, we'll check like uh, how many um, successful calls how many field calls how many total calls were there uh, since uh, since the time the call manager was installed right and I'm also going to test a scenario where this 10002 is registered to the call manager and this call manager is connected or integrated to the Unity connection. So the, I've made the physical link down between the call manager and the Unity connection. So this is one scenario which we are going to test. But in a real time use case, right, what you can have, you can have another scenario is this trunk may be physically up, but Unity connection or any other service provider uh, network might be rejecting your calls. So I'm all, we can also catch that. But in our scenario, what we are going to cover today, if the calls are feeling between call manager and Unity connection, I will check if uh, there are more than five calls feeling. I would like to report this as an error and send email from Grafana to the admin team that this particular link has some issues and there are so many so and so field calls, right? So this is what we are going to check today. So let's quickly get started. I'll quickly show up your um, call manager in Grafana dashboard. So let me log into call manager and show you. Okay, so I have a number 10049 and this 10049 is connected to a Unity connection trunk. And if you look at the trunk, right, I am not in service since last 22 minutes. So this trunk has some issues. So if I make calls to 10049, all the calls should drop, right? Now I'll test this scenario. So another thing what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you this quick dashboard. So at this moment, right? So this is the first place where you see the call statistics. So I've shown you like in last five minutes. So in last five minutes, there were no uh, calls which have been made, right? So if I make this to, let's say uh, last 90 days, you will see there are many calls, right? There are almost uh, 866 calls in last 
90s and out of 866 calls 584 were successful and 282 were filled now if you count this two this should become 866 now out of this successful and filled calls right 525 calls were like almost um, more than one second and 341 calls were um, uh, zero duration calls right now if you combine this this becomes to total of 866 calls now the same thing you can uh, you know see it in this form of chart like uh, this is the dates uh, since when uh, you are reading this data now if you look here like this shows you like how many calls and this was a pick when you uh, when so many calls were sent in last 90 days right so this gives you graphical representation here now if i drag this down to like let's say 10 15 minutes or maybe like five minutes so if you look here in the last five minutes i'm going to read this phone count model on every minute basis so that i can show it to you but it is recommended to read it on daily basis rather than on a minute wise basis because it does not make sense right to read it on a minute basis so on daily basis you want to know like how much is the count so just for the representation representation sake like i have i'm reading it on minute basis so if you see here like there are like 110 cdi ports 7940 uh, is one 8861 is 2, Cisco IP communicated is 1, uh, Jabber is 7 and 5 third party devices. This is what we have configured on my system. So this is what the data looks like at this time. Now if you see the phone registration report, there is only one phone registered at this time. So if I have to make, uh, if I, I mean this particular data is coming from your uh, uh, real time information services. So if I make one more phone registered, so this should bring the uh, two phone registered uh, if I bring up the second phone. So let me get the second phone as well. So at this moment you see 10,002 is registered. I'll bring up 10,007 as well. Just give me a minute. Okay, so I have 10,007 as well registered. So uh, give it a minute time so that the data can up update and get updated in uh, this time 922 or 920, 920, 924, right? So right now the time is 924. So this data gets updated in 924. So I'll wait for a minute time. In the meanwhile, I'll show you this. So this shows you like the performance, like, like how many calls were attempted uh, during, uh, you know, last uh, five minutes or 10 minutes, right? So this data is directly coming from your call manager. And this data is something like I'm not um, storing anywhere. So this data is clean and simple from the call manager itself. Right, how many calls were attempted, how many calls failed, completed, etc. Right, now this, in this particular trunk here, right, I'm monitoring uh, the unity connection SIP trunk. So it's not only necessary like you need to monitor only unity connection, you can monitor your service provider trunk as well. So you can say like if uh, there are like uh, more than five or 10 calls failed, report it to the admin team. So at this moment, uh, I'm just monitoring the unity connection. So we can do it for the service provider as well. I'm saying like if there are more than five calls failed on this unity connection SIP trunk, report it to me, right. and Similarly, like if I have to show you like uh, last one year data, so one year data looks something like this, right? 7315 calls made out of these, this many were successful and this many were filled, right? And this is the data looks like on the chart. Now, let's bring it to five minutes back again. Now, if you see here, when the time came, so it shows you now two registered phones, right? So, so, Till this time it was one, as soon as I bring brought up the second phone within a minute time, it shows up like there are two registered phones. Again, this particular data is something you can monitor on daily or early basis as per your need. But again, this is up to uh, the business requirement, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make quick call between 10,002 and 10,007 so that it will be a successful call and it should show as a successful call. I, I insert the, the call, call. So, so let the, the call, call come, come in. in. I, I the call. Now, now what I'll do is I'll uh, make some calls to 
so i made almost 8 calls to 10049 so all the 8 calls failed so ideally in our dashboard within the last 5 minutes we should we should see as a total of 9 calls out of 9 calls 8 failed one successful calls so it will take uh, at around a minute or two minutes to get the data updated on this particular dashboard right i'll refresh this page so at this moment we have one successful call so remaining eight field calls will be coming sooner uh, within a minute time and it should get updated here right so what i'll do is i'll pause the video for a minute and then we'll re re resume this video in a minute when this data is about to update okay so now the data should get updated i'll refresh this page again all right cool so as we expected right there are a total of nine calls out of these nine calls eight failed and uh, one successful calls this is what we expected and this is exactly how it uh, looked like and this is what you can see here as well right uh, we made uh, eight calls and all the eight calls failed and you see during this particular time right uh, we made uh, one call and that particular call was passed so this is the time frame during which we made successful calls and the field calls so this gives you a dashboard information properly and this data is updating every minute basis and you see um, here uh, the data should um, I, I don't remember what was the stat here but this data might have been updated or if not right this should get updated right so now out of these eight calls what we have failed right so we should be receiving an alert so if you notice here right so it says unity connection zip trunk monitoring so it says pending so within a minute or two right it'll shoot up an email to my uh, outlook and say that okay there were almost eight calls failed on this particular trunk can you have a look right so um, let's wait for uh, around one minute or one and a half minute and then I'll show you I'll pause the video for now okay so now this status should change from pending to firing so right now it is almost 1 minute 45 second now this status should change to firing in a minute in, in some seconds right so if you see here now the status is in firing mode and now we should receive an email alert uh, within a minute or two right so let's wait for the email to come in i'll pause the video for now okay let's refresh this page so let's open the outlook and see if we have received an email it might take some time my outlook is a little slow okay fine so we have received an email alert okay so it says like in the summary total number of field calls to unity connection during last two minutes is eight so as we expected right eight were the field calls and it gives you uh, some uh, description as well unity connection call field and some values uh, you can uh, modify this data i have not uh, gone to that level where you can modify this template but at this moment yeah we need whatever is required right we need it to know like on which trunk the calls are failing and how many calls are filled now if you look at the alert it will give you all the real uh, information that you are looking for right so this is how exactly we can you know monitor uh, the calls so if you see also notice right uh, the data is also updated here 10 calls attempted one call completed and um, uh, and that's what the data is look uh, looks like and this is the data which came around 927 and during 926 the data was uh, 3 till here and at 927 the data updated to 10 right so this is how exactly you can monitor so i'm sure like this is something like we can use it for uh, zip trunks as well we can understand um, like how many calls are feeling on a zip trunk um, and monitor it on every uh, five minutes or every minute basis and if there are more than uh, um, x number of calls failing then report it to the admin team so that they can you know fix the issue well before the users report right and sooner or later i'm going to record a session on how to use grafana and how to integrate with call manager um, in the meanwhile do let me know your feedback if you like this tool if you want to learn about grafana if you want to understand more about grafana and how, how to integrate grafana with call manager right um, all right thank you for watching have a great day